Dan is playing the Sorcerer Mickey music. I am so glad that you're here today. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. I am in Magic Kingdom without Peter um, because I am putting together a little flat Stanley package for one of my cousins back at home and I have to send it before we leave. So I'm gonna do some fun stuff, get some cute pictures of it, maybe even get a snack um, so that I can send them before we go. So got a couple of fast passes. And yeah, it's, it's pretty crowded, but um, I'm excited. I haven't been here during the day in a long time. Stanley had to have a treat that was as big as him. So I got a pretzel. Now I have a fast pass at Buzz Lightyear so I can include a funny attraction photo. Guys, I messed this up. I did not charge my phone. I literally have 5% battery. So I'm gonna have to save my battery so I might not vlog as much to make sure I get the pictures of the flat Stanley. I will never learn. If, if anybody knows me, they know that when you're with me, I typically have low battery. And um, yeah, I don't know how that always happens, but um, yeah, I gotta get better at charging my phone while I work. So oh, magic, look at you in this big line. Holy smokes. So I'm about to take this little flat Stanley on his first roller coaster. Then I'm gonna head out and go get Peter. Um, but I'm hoping that the photo turns out funny. I'll insert it here if I'm able to get him like flapping in the wind. <laughs> I had a fast pass and everything. I was gonna get the ride photo, but then my Haunted Mansion fast pass. Um, something, the ride must have been down because I got like an all experiences pass, so I thought it'd be cooler to get um, Stanley on his first roller coaster instead. So, pretty happy. Actually, I wore this jacket. I was really prepared. Um, I could have gone on it, but now that time is ticking and I gotta pick up Peter, I'm a little relieved. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> my phone died after my last clip. Um, we just dropped our car off at this Tire Kingdom by Universal. Uh -huh. And we're going to walk across the Ross to see if there's anything for my dad for Christmas. Or anybody. Or we anybody. Had a couple of yeah. people, but. Um, <laughs> but, dropped the car off to get an oil change. We're going to check the tires and some stuff to make sure we're all good to get on the road. On Friday, I had a crazy day at work. Kind of have tomorrow planned out and potentially even Friday planned out for work. And then but we're gonna be on the road. We're gonna stay in tonight to clean um, with the apartment situated. I don't know if we've mentioned this. My sister and her husband build their honeymoon in Disney over the holiday. So they leave on Christmas and they'll be staying in our apartment just a couple of nights. For two nights while we're not there. But we're not gonna be there. So we gotta make it's like postable. Bed. And you guys remember how proud I was that like I wasn't gonna set up the bed frame because we were gonna, just gonna get a new bed frame? Well, we don't want, Tyler was fine sleeping on our mattress on the ground, but we just don't wanna do that for Donna and Bill on their honeymoon. So I'm putting together a bed frame. I hope that means that we're not gonna get into a trend of us waiting even longer to get our bed frame. I wish we could have just gotten the bed frame this week, but with like, soaking in all the Christmas stuff, yeah. we didn't have time to go I to the store. Facebook. You did? Yeah. Oh. This is that I was looking at Facebook Marketplace, so that's we're, the plan. We got a little bit of time for our car, so we're gonna go to the store. Ah! That's a record scratching change <laughs> of plan. Instead of being productive and potentially get more Christmas presents, which we still might do we after. Still might do. We're going to Bento Box because there's a Bento right here. They have options for us. We are not eating out so much. I know. It's okay. <laughs> holiday time. It's the holiday season. I also just told Sarah, that there's a really, really good burger place right here in the strip by uh, Dr. Phillips Universal area that has a really good, it's called the Whiskey. Really, it's one of the best burgers oh, I've yeah. ever had in my life and they do an impossible version. Ooh. But they're like $17 burgers each. It's so weird that I'm wearing a purse right now. If you're from Orlando, you know this name. We're right by Dan New Newland's attorney, attorney, 
injury attorney offices. All right, we placed our order. I got a Pokeball, so I got a bento box. Mm -hmm. And look at our number. Yeah, that's our number. It, it follows it us our whole that, life. Um, it shows that we were meant to come here. Yeah, Sarah just said, I got buyer's more the second we rang it up and then he placed that and said your number 32 and Sarah said, it was meant to be. Here's Sarah's bento box. She's never been to bento box before. Yeah. This is Katie and Megan's place. Do you love it or hate it? Or do you agree or you disagree or are you uncertain? I agree. I'm worried about the portion. I'm hungry all the time. Sarah's Rolly from 101 Dalmatians. I was like that Insert day. scene right here. Like I... I'm never full. But neither am I. That's why we go great together. You am I gonna beans. like beans? I love beans. So. I feel like they're probably like marinated. Do you agree, disagree, or are you? This little portion is good. Alright, here's my Pokeball. It's hot city. I got brown rice, uh, spicy tofu, sesame, jalapenos, mushroom. Asparagus, ginger, with sriracha sauce. How's your so far? Peter's food is so spicy. I don't know if he's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go get you more water. It's cold. We're full. Yeah, it was, my meal was filling. And it's also <coughs> the perfect thing for people like me who are indecisive. Because you get a little bit of everything. Yeah, so instead of walking really far on whatever street this is to go to Ross or anything, we're just going to go back to Tire Kingdom, sit in their comfy chairs. And, and the, look at them until they sit with us. <laughs> no, just joking. No, they got a coffee machine, they got a TV, they got comfy chairs for our full bellies and burning, mm -hmm. melting mouths. They have our keys, right? Yeah, they have our I keys. I have a book in the car, dang it. Oh. Here we are. Watching some family guy. And they're watching. She's also never been to an auto shop where you can like wait in this area. I walked past here and Sarah's like, I didn't know we could go back here. We got a cup of joe. Got some skills. Wow, there's our car. There's a big thing of bird boom on it. How long has that been there? Now Bob's Burgers is on. We've been here way too long. <laughs> but we have nothing else to do because we only have one car. Five hours later. Seventeen days later. <laughs> no, it's actually just eight twelve. So not that late. We got our car back. It's like a time warp in but there. But it was good because they. Wait, 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 wait. It was good because they um, they rotated our tires because we got we're at Tire Kingdom. That's where we got our tires. So they were able to do a tire rotation, uh, brake check, tire check. Wow. All that good stuff. Really good for about to go on the road yes and we haven't watched tv in so long <laughs> it's like what? hey what are you waiting for <laughs> what do you stall for what? we won the war what was it all for here she is she is super pumped she's about to get something she's never received before i got her a treat of wet food and she's literally wow eve Wow, you've been on your feet for a long time. <laughs> go, Evie. Wow, that was 17 seconds of her on her feet. All right, let's go. She was literally losing her mind, barking. Beavers. She barely, like, she doesn't even eat one bowl of food a day. She eats, like, every other day. No. <laughs> We were just talking and we weren't recording. Oh, um, no, it's not fun. It's not been the most thrilling <laughs> night to begin with, getting an oil change for three hours. Um, we're going to clean. I'm going to put together the bed frame, Sarah's going to do the dishes, then we're going to clean, then we're going to cry. Well, we did. We got some more presents. We just yeah. need, like, a little bit more. And we'll be done. I'm sweaty. Um, and then I did stuff, like, for wrapping. Sorry, I'm seeing someone in wrapping. 
What's that called? Elf? Santa Claus? <laughs> what happened to your food? There's no more. At least not until tomorrow. You ate it all, silly. I don't have any more. Okay, so a couple of you asked if we finished Christmas with the Cranks, which we did. We actually didn't fall asleep during the movie. And we were not fans. I liked how it wrapped up, but like during it, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to Tim Allen like being Santa. So I put on the Santa Claus right now to watch. I don't know, I feel like maybe it's one like, I don't have to watch it every year, that sort of thing. It wasn't like, I don't know. All, like there wasn't a character that like I like really felt for. I don't know, it just wasn't our favorite. Um, look in the background. Sorry, Christina just told me this. You want hot Right there. Anything about his ears? Wait, oh, he's a uh, elf. You never noticed that before? No. And when he gets arrested? Yeah, I know. There's more. That. Yeah, they're everywhere. But I didn't notice, and like when they're like shopping for toys, yeah. I just never saw that one in the, in the Denny's. Have you helping out? Yeah, she <laughs> All right, I made a little quick fix. I didn't put the wood panels across. I put some bins down there since it still is going to be temporary, but flashback or what? Check out this, Sarah put on White Christmas. She's relaxing over there. We've had quite a productive evening, haven't we? Eve almost broke her leg because we had our blanket airing out across us and she jumped and it was like a booby trap, yeah, but she's okay. It was like walkable. It was freaky. So we still have more cleaning to do. Um, Christina and I are going to do tomorrow, but just like the last minute, like sweeping, that sort of stuff. So we got to address something else that we've not not been talking about what is that the dopey weekend is in exactly 20 days yeah and i have not run since the 50 counting on today 11 days since the 50k yeah now a lot of that has to do with what we were talking about the other day with our mental state but um sorry when, eve is being goofy when Sarah and I were talking about like what we can do to help ourselves with that, we talked a lot about like going to the parks, vlogging, hanging out with Eve, and also I basically like running. made a list of like things that soothe our soul and things we hadn't been doing, even like reading, yeah. me meditating. I think even you need to start doing some think, sort of I reflecting. I think reading would be good. Yeah. As like or reflection. yoga. You just got the yoga mat. Uh -huh. So like we have to consciously make time for those things. Otherwise, we're gonna let the day go by without doing them. Yeah. If we don't, if you don't like do things with intention, mm -hmm. they don't happen. And so, so, my aerobic base is still there, but I need to not lose it, especially because I've never been this prepared for runs yeah. than before. Um, we decided I'm doing a 50 miler kind of early on next year. Yeah. We're not going to give the details because I'm not registered for it yet. I don't want to say it and then go to register and like a, probably next Friday and it not be available anymore. Yeah. So once I'm registered, we'll give you the details, but it's in May. And even though the dopey's 20 days away, if you guys remember, I, I got injured last year, a couple different minor injuries. And sorry if this freaks you out, but now officially as of today, I was doing some self-care and I can officially say that both of my big toenails are back to 100% normal status. Wow. And I, they both got injured during last Dopey and now 20 days from this year's Dopey, they're finally 100% they're they're back. back. <laughs> so what's your plan? Are you gonna start running tomorrow? Tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Just run to Chicago. Yeah, I should. Surround yourself with people who get it. Anonymous. What a day. We felt like five days in one. We really did, but now it's to an end. And kind of the fun feels like it all starts tomorrow. We actually moved up our Star Wars tickets. We were supposed to be 12 o'clock at night. We found the 745 in Altamont Springs. Yeah, which is really helpful because we're traveling, driving the next day. Straight from work. I'm yeah. trying to work from our apartment on Friday, but it all depends on how productive my day of work is tomorrow. Yeah. So, fingers crossed. So yeah, so after tomorrow is like... Chicago time. Yeah, our trip. Christmas. It's good to be home. Good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.